Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm having audio difficulties. This camera stand is tripping. All right. We got Love and Hip Hop ATL return yesterday. No we say, no time, no time, no time. Jocelyn is running around saying she ain't got no time for it. No time for it. Y'all, Jocelyn are with Hollywood on us. And I love the fact that Mona has bought Tommy back because Tommy is raw. She don't care. She trying to get it right now. Get it how you live? Tommy trying to get it how you live, okay? All right, cast members are returning. So far, we see Kurt Rashida. We have uh, Mimi. We have Stevie. We have Jocelyn. We got Tommy. We got Kyla Red. We got Young Jock. And uh, Mimi has introduced to us a new character, some young lady um, that's over. She said she's the number one promoter in the world over the LGBT community. And uh, I guess this is a club they tape. Y'all, we're going to have some camera difficulties this morning, okay? And I'm just going to make it do what it do. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of fuck shit going on with the real, with the uh, Love and Hip Hop ATL. And uh, we basically start off with um, Young Jock is dating Carly Rae. At least that's what they want us to think. Storyline, storyline, storyline. I say, I ain't mad. Do what you got to do. Get it how you live, okay? And uh, it's all good. He hanging out with the llamas out in the pet zoo in the wood. And um, all right, you're going to come up on me. You better put your blink on. Carly Red is going out there to see young Jock. And she show up looking like the uh, llama, <laughs> the sheep, or whatever the hell that was. She had on the white wool and everything, okay? I ain't mad at you, y'all. I love, I love me some Mimi, but not Mimi. I love me some damn, um, y'all, let me get my thoughts together. I'm trying to sit pretty, and I'm uh, <laughs> fucking up this review. <laughs> I love me some Tommy, guys. Tommy is the fucking shit. Carly Red is going to be messy boots this season, as usual. She's going to play her part to the fullest. And we're going to enjoy you, Carly Red. We've been seeing Carly Red is dating seeds from Black Ink. Or they just want to get some publicity out there, some notoriety. I say, you know what? I ain't mad. Get it how you live. It is what it is, okay? So right now, Carly Red and Young Jock fucking, okay? Storyline, storyline, storyline. I ain't mad. Do what y'all gotta do, okay? So anyway, they out there, they showing up to each other, and he tells her that Jocelyn is gonna have a masquerade party, and uh, they're gonna go and support Jocelyn. Now, this is what I don't understand. If um, Stevie J was not fucking with Jocelyn this entire time, why was they so supportive? all um, his friends to go to the masquerade party. See, y'all, that's why I say I don't believe none of this shit on reality TV. And you know what? We just gonna say this is a story, this is a storyline, this is a plot, and we gonna make it do what it do. We gonna roll with it, okay? It is what it is, okay? None of this shit real. Because I was seeing what they were saying about the baby, and uh, Kirk over there on Fame is say it was the wrong Kirk watch it to the end. I guess they end up being his son, baby. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, we know this shit is rigged, but we just gonna make it do what it do. We gonna roll with it, okay? So, anyway, they end up, he tell her about the masquerade party, and uh, Carly Red is like, I don't fuck with Jocelyn, but, uh, you know, she don't tell him she gonna show up, but, of course, she wanna show up to see who young Jock fucking with, okay? And, of course, when she get there, you know, they got on their masks. Young Jock got a bunch of girls around him. And um, it's they introducing another new character. The young lady that's supposed to be, uh, had the baby by Kirk. I think her name was Melissa. I'm not, I'm not um, sure. But anyway, the young lady is standing there with Young Jock. And um, she's dating one of Mimi X that just got out the feds. And when Jocelyn walk up, she like, who you bitch? What your name is? Why you all around my man, you know? 
young jock laughing and like they not with me the only thing i bought with me was my coat and uh which i think young jock he wants to be a comedian i think he want to get out there in the comedy world and i seen him this morning talking about he glad that people got to see the real side it's just not music he is a comedian too we we like okay we know it's just not music because you ain't put out no more music since whatever song that was you put out in 1950 okay so anyway he's out he's at the place at the club and the promoter the one say she the number one promoter in the world she comes over there tell jocelyn i mean um y'all excuse me with these names it's just the beginning she tells kyla red i don't want you in here tearing up my shit you say what you got to say. You know Jocelyn don't like you. Get your ass out of here. Because the girl cool with Jocelyn, okay? So anyway, um, she slips in there with a mask on and walks up on the girl. And the girl like, I'm not here with Young Jock. I'm uh, dating whoop, 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 whoever the nigga is that just got out the federal penitentiary. And uh, she like, oh, okay, but I just had a baby. And old mess ass Carly Red talking about how you just had a baby and a nigga was locked up but y'all know they be up in there fucking y'all this ain't nothing new so anyway she comes to say when uh she's standing there talking that the baby is not the dude she fucking with it's Kirk and they like Kirk Frost Kirk so you know we gotta start the plots y'all Mona says she gotta have y'all sitting on ready waiting to see love and hip-hop atl so kirk is on his way to the event and they got they like we gotta hurry up and well young jock i gotta forewarn my boy before he get here on what's going on and they know carly red is getting ready to tell rashida so they trying to make sure they confirm the shit before it get back okay kirk walks in of course and uh we see this is going to be the juicy part of love and hip-hop atl this season so they all standing there and uh the little stripper she's a stripper she's sitting there telling him that uh you know you don't know me he like no you know i'm married i guess you know being the side chick you ain't supposed to speak on what you're doing but anyway she reveals that you know they had a baby in front of everybody kirk denies it and runs the fuck up out of there to hurry up and get home because he know old mess is called red is gonna call rashida okay anyway uh we see jocelyn is pregnant she serves stevie with some dna paper and uh also tommy that got in trouble for threatening jocelyn and so since tommy and stevie cool right now she done linked up with stevie and said would you come down to the precinct with me to uh answer some questions and you would be a great person to come in with me and answer questions since she was there that night and since y'all ain't fucking with each other, you probably could get me off. Because I guess me, uh, <laughs> that damn Tommy, threatened to kill this hoe. That bitch got clean as the board of health. I guess she said when she go down here and take this motherfucking mug shot, it's going to be the best mug shot out of all 35, okay? Literally speaking, 35. So anyway, Stevie J goes down there with her. And uh, guess what? Da, da, da. Tommy does not walk out. They lock her up. She look beautiful in her black. She throw up her peace sign. Like, fuck you. It is what it is. And they book her ass. Y'all, I love me some Tommy. Tommy is the motherfucking shit. If you're going to go down, go down in style. If it's going to happen, happen in style, okay? Let me see. Basically, it was just introducing the characters. And uh, it looked like it's going to be a great season. Kirk. I don't know. Somebody done spoiled the beans and say it might be Kirk Jr., baby. But I don't know. I ain't for sure. I ain't the one, you know, allegedly. I don't know if that's true or not. But I'm going to sit back on Mondays and relax. And I'm going to enjoy the season, guys. Now, let me see what else took place. Kirk hurrying up, running back to Rashida to tell her about, you know, Carly Red. Let me see. That's basically it. Mimi. Mimi dating. I don't know if Mimi dating the girl that got the club, the LGBT club. And we see Karen King is going to be back on there this season. And it looked like basically everybody in the t uh, return except for that storyline with Scrap De Leon and his baby mama. I didn't see Dime Peace. 
So I don't know. I hope her baba or whoever she's dating is got her secure. But you guys, that's basically all I can remember that didn't happen right now. Love and Hip Hop ATL. They were basically just introducing the characters. It looked like a Rashida and Kurt trying to steal a season. It looked like it may be on and popping, guys. And y'all, this is my Love and Hip Hop ATL right now because. I can't remember what else took place, but y'all, y'all have a lucky day, okay? Thanks for hanging out with Miss Tiki. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, okay? Bye, guys. Have a lucky day.